Hey, welcome back to Gator Snap, a playthrough explorer through the fucking fifth reality where... Can't even say this shit's weird. It's pretty much normal at this point in time. Hello, the inside the little house. Thank you. I thank you for the hint. I already got that. Is this where clothing? Yeah, okay. Where is he then? Dead. He's a skeleton. That's he's probably on the wall. I did not realize I'd actually be using this phone. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I guess I should have figured that one worked. Do I have anything that looks like a number? No. Well, actually, this book might have a phone number. Uh, no, 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 no. End of life. Uh, 15. Mm, all the... No. That's too... I was thinking, like, maybe each number that's on this page, but that's too fucking esoteric. I don't think that's right. Uh, eh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna assume that I don't need to fuck with that phone yet. Alright, next room, please. Meh. Uh, oh. Somebody's having a nice little bath. In blood, I might add. Also, you've got a bar of soap. I need that. Also, how do I get up there? I need, like, a poking stick or some shit for that. Alright, um, you... Actually, ooh, can I get that rose? Oh, I can't. Well, um, you... Let me just take your soap. You're not using it. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. What are you? Are you a creature or a person that's weird-looking? Or, like, what? I, I don't like thinking about my heart speed. I, I just want the soap. So, are you having trouble with hygiene? It's okay, admit it. I know I am bathing in a pool of blood. Yeah, yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Then my flesh smells like it's fucking clean, whatever. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours, you crazy bitch. Huh. Well, that was surprisingly easy. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell of, like, soap. Good thing I'm not actually going to use the soap, then. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Jesus, fucking weirdo. <laughs> then with the sassy walk I'm getting out here. Uh, so let's see. Can't... Do I... I don't... I don't think I need to worry about this yet, either. There's nothing I can do about this. Anything else that looks like I could grab here? Uh, I could get that fucking wooden board and slap the fucking skull until the teeth pop out. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's do that. Okay, so I need... Ugh. Oh, those are my eyes again, too. Well, I say they're my eyes. I have no actual idea. Um, wait, no, but... Uh, is there another door I can just go into? I guess I do have another key, so... One of these might work. Yeah, there we go. 104. But this might just lead to that up area that I was already... Ah, never mind. It is something completely different. Hello, Mr. Universe. I, I'm just gonna avoid you for as long as possible. Never mind. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? Ah, I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my sassy stance and my sexy body. Do you like my optic nerve? And my fucking goat eye? Oh, I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. That fucker Heimdall thinks he's so fucking cool. But does he have an optic nerve like this? Nah. Well then, everything? Can you see my cat? Why would I care? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, queen, princess? No, I, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. I remember when I had those in my fucking uh, fan fiction novel where I was friends with Naruto, Goku, and Sasuke. Who's the other? No, Bleach. Who's the guy for Bleach? Ichigo. That's the one. Ah, how lovely. Yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. It's probably been eaten, now that I think about it, but, uh, whatever. C can you describe the cat you see? Please? Be very helpful. Big yellow eyes, pink nose, fur is, like, really dark, de black is the deepest night. Honestly, there hasn't been any other kind of cat in this game, little child. I don't know why you're asking. It's him. It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. R remember I, I said every cat in this game has been black. And did you not read that book the old man left you? Literally thousands of black cats. But Mabuka's asleep. Waking her can end up in disgrace. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. She's a big ol' meanie. 
Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. I'm suddenly very nice to you. Don't know why, but whatever. Oh, there we go. You're brave. I respect bravery. Very much. Why do I have these muscles to control where my eye looks when I can just use my whole body? Ah, oh, whatever. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Where do you keep your brain? Don't ask too many questions. It's too weird. A brush to brush hair. Did I need a brush to brush hair? I didn't. So why would they give me a brush? To rub against the giant eyeball, of course. Be terrible. Jesus. So, oh, that's where the soap goes. It goes, how am I going to get the soap inside the bottle? Whatever. So I don't think I've seen these things. Am I even going to get a bottle of water or a working... Oh, there's some working bulbs. Can I take these? Ouch, the bulbs are very hot. So, use a glove to... I don't have a glove to grab them. Um, what else can I mess with? Oh, this mirror is transparent. Where does... Oh, I was about to say, where does it see? Oh, hey, how about that? A fucking thing behind a curtain. What is this with you guys? Oh, oh, I'm here now. Oh, and I bet this is why the bulbs are hot. Fuck you. Oh, oh, black wire. That's not a wire, that's a cord. Oh, they're obviously entirely different. And there's a bottle that I'm assuming will have water in it once I do this. Oh, I need a key for this. Do I have a key left over? I don't. No. Insert button. Oh. Oh, I don't need a key. I need a button to get a key to 103. But I don't have a button. Well, oh, fuck. I don't have that cat toy anymore either. Wait, can I... Oh, I can just walk over to this. Okay, well, let's grab this. Yeah. And then... Wait, can I just take the button from the monkey? Oh, he doesn't have a... Fuck. For that nice little vest he's wearing, he doesn't have a single button. That's terrible. Okay, well, let's grab a light bulb while I'm here. Oh. I figured that as unplug. Wait, what did I... Why would I unplug the thing? If not for... What did I... Oh, I guess it's just for the black wire. That's right. Huh. Well then. How could I get the light bulb? Maybe if I just ask what's-his-face Akula nicely? Akula Matata. I just had to do it. Um, yeah. Ouch, the bulbs are very hot. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that a light switch? It is a light switch. Okay. Should have figured that. Alright, give me that light bulb. There we go. That was simple. See, that's what I like about these fetch quests where it's like get a bunch of items. They get to be very easy. So I need to fill the bottle with water and the glove and the wake-up clock. And I need a button to give to the fucking monkey machine. Best place I can assume to get a button would be in here if I have, like, a stuffed toy anywhere. Ugh, not you, though. Do I have a button in here just laying around? I don't see a button. At least not at first glance. Is there a button that I can't see? It has cat hair. Huh. I guess it was kind of a big assumption. Oh! Oh! Wait. Okay, so I can... Oh! Button! No, no. Button. Give me that button. Uh, it has a big button. Yes, a very big button. Use knife on button. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, no, I don't care about this. I want to look at the other dresses. I want to feel special. Wow. That, um... That looks like a really un... That looks like a moo moo. Looks like... I don't know. I don't know why I'm being like, that looks like an uncomfortable dress, because I wear dresses all the time. No, it's just... I don't know, it looks like I had fucking shoulders for someone with very wide shoulders. Then, like, no fucking room for curves at all. Yep, this is my extent of not of uh, clothing knowledge. Let's not go in here. I need to go to 104. Actually, I don't know. I was going to say maybe I could fill up the, uh, the bottle with water from the guy in the bathtub, but I don't think he had any fucking water. Although, then again, I think there's a... Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a spigot right there. Okay, so I'll do that uh, once I insert le button. Le button in there. And give me a key. There goes my button. Now what? Oh, pull the lever. I think I disconnected the machine. Wonderful. Can I... F oh, no. Wait, but can I fix that? Fuck. I wouldn't have fucking... Wait, can I... Can I fix this? Um, use on... There we go. Okay, good. About to be very worried. There you go. Oh, that's not a key. Those are pliers. What? Oh, the key to one of... Oh, no. The key to room 103 must be in the fucking skeleton guy's mouth. And they gave me dental pliers. Oh, boy, this will be fun. This poor stoop... Oh, God. It's one of those things I don't like. The thought of, like, be having teeth ripped out. That being said, I have no empathy in this situation, and I'm just gonna do it anyways. Oh, why did there have to be blood? Oh, it's disgusting. Give me that key, though. Oh, no, it's so, so fucking shiny little key. Come here. Oh, I can taste like mouth blood now. I'm not talking to you guys, because you're gonna judge me for what I just did. 
Oh, he should have been nice. He should just give me the key, but he had to be sassy. All right, then I just need to fill. Why is there just a rose sitting there? Oh well, whatever. Um, where's the bottle? Ah, that bottle, literally right over the entire time. This could work wonderfully if the wall. Shut up, Fran, you judgmental child. Don't judge me on little things like this. There you go. Filled the bottle with water, and oh wait, oh. I could fill the water balloons too. Yeah, just like a child would do. And then I could, uh, I can kill that fucking, uh, Kamala that's fucking the tree. I was gonna say fucking with the tree, but then I realized it might be more accurate to say fucking the tree, because he is having a grand old time with that tree. The tree's just. God, I left that tree in the fucking, like, I left him in his time of need. He's like, please, please help me. This is really awkward. Alright, don't worry though, little tree buddy. I got your back now. I just had to give myself an arsenal. One, two, three water balloons. That was terrible. Good god, Fran. See, do I have, I don't have control over this, do I? Are you fucking serious? Please, please tell me this is meant to happen. There we go. Perfect. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Or not. There he goes. Yep, no more fucking for you. Whoa, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Oh god, I've got STDs though now. Don't worry, I'm happy to make you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A stick. Thanks. A stick. A piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Oh. Is that like... Oh, is this some like Majora's Mask shit where I plant a tree and then I climb up it in the future? Thank you, so I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. I mean, you can talk to me too if you... Oh, okay. Bye. I don't get lonely. I just get very sad. <laughs> Oh, uh, that poor tree. Some Someday someone will talk to him. Just won't be today. Uh, what could I use this branch for, actually? I'm only imagining I'd use a branch to, like, reach at something that's a little bit far away. Eh, whatever. Uh, no, use the key frame. Use key. Use key under. There we go. Wait. Wait a minute. Why did the one thing say Route 103? I didn't think about that. I thought 103 was, like, not bloody one, but... Why did the thing say 103? Oh, whatever. Let's not waste time. I'm making amazing progress. Wow. That is unsettling to say. Ooh, you have a clock. Can I take that clock? Never mind how fucking unsettling you are. It's tightly tied. I want to have to do something about it. Well, you know what they say about things that are tightly tied. Take a knife to it. Yep. Wow. This is actually extraordinarily easy. So I just need a glove. And there's a glove. Wow, extraordinarily easy. And also you. What a big cat. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. No, he doesn't. I have to find him. For that, I have to open all the doors. Literally, he does not look like Mr. Midnight. Whatever. Oh, that's what that does. That is a really unsettling cat. Just, you know, ignore it and go on with my life. Wow. Okay, so cool. I've got everything I need to make the clock. Then I can just put it on the back of the cat and, I guess, do something with it. So, how do I do this? Um, is there, like, an order to this? I guess not. I have everything I need, so let's just, uh... I guess start with the school case. Um, can't be done. What the hell? Oh, wait. Wait, no. How do I do this, actually? I think I must wake up Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? I, th I must build it besides it's designed by Cog when the clockmaker. Maybe if I do the clock on the box first? Combine with, a uh, clock... Even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. You fucking, of course you know what purpose. What about clever enough to find... No, you're not clever enough to find another solution. It's literally on a piece of paper telling you to do that. Maybe... Well, I guess I might as well explore, too. See what's up this elevator. Up! Elevator! Goodbye, creepy cat. That is a very silly-looking situation. Just her slowly rising away. Hello! You got a key. I don't really know if I need that. Uh, let's talk. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. Y you don't need to talk, just let me take the key, please. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Those are unrelated fucking subjects, Joker, Orange Joker. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck in the street? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? And I'm not talking to you, or listening. I'm just talking to myself, and listening to myself. I'm just curious, uh, see you later. Take the knife, friend. Take the knife and cut it down. <laughs> Yeah, it won't work. Okay, what if I threw water on it? Use, uh, nothing, of course. What do you mean, nothing? That seems logical. Wait, do I still have a comb? I got a stick. 
What am I both going to? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I got a brush. These fuckers love having their hair brushed. Uh, take the brush. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? <laughs> Not like I really want a hair comb, but blah, blah, blah. Well, let's make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? You're on fire. Nothing's dangerous to you except, I guess, water, but we already found out that doesn't work. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? No promises. Only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle, and nothing bad will happen. Burn. Burner. Okay. I'll be gentle. Oh, this is so weird. Oh my god. He looks so fucking happy. And meanwhile, she's looking in like three different directions. Her third eye is seeing something weird. Oh, it worked. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. Oh, orgasmic pleasure. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. Now I'm bugs. Wonderful. I need to fall. I feel like I need to fly away. Yay! So that's cool. I guess I also figured out what to use the stick for, so let's just, uh... Oh, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oh, wow. Kind of seemed like I wasn't grabbing the key. Just, ah, oh, whatever. Uh, so I guess let's go back down and... I could check out what's in room 103, but I have everything I need for the clock. So why would I... Oh, wait. Maybe I should... Ah, oh, God, I have, like, no time this episode, but I want to see what's in the cat's back. Can I, like, mess with that? Oh, oh, the back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. What if I start using items on the back of the cat? That's what we have to do. So we have to put... Oh, God, we have to put one of these in at a time. Really? So rather than me making the box, I'm putting them inside the cat, and the cat's making them. Or maybe I'm putting them, like inside the cat in like certain places except that bottle of water had to have the soap in it so you know what just don't think about it, it doesn't need, it doesn't really matter there we go and the clock and then the glove yeah i've made like a time travel cat oh 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 no wait i was wrong it really did make the box itself it was nothing to do with me well then i've got this thing now i think that's to wake up the Ecog, yeah, it's just to wake up Mabuka, I think. Oh, man, I'm so confused. What about, I guess there's nothing else to do with that. Well, in that case, ah, I, I just want to see what's in room 103, and then I'll end the episode. So, yeah, let's see what's in here. Yeah, to the ma- oh, gross. Maybe I do want to end the episode now. Uh, I, that's, so that's one of those things where if I go in there, it could trigger a chain of events that I can't skip. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end this episode right here. So, yeah, this has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.